Hello and welcome to another video series of Fortress Craft uh, Evolved and my name is Sarston and let's just go ahead and hop right into it so where we left off is we need some more tin bars and we're going to need some more copper bars actually um, but right now what we really need are some mini hoppers and uh, the reason for that is whenever the iron comes up here we're going to need that to um, well to be stored somewhere <laughs> Alright, so there's uh, too many hoppers. I'm going to come over here. We're going to drop those. Honestly, I don't even need to set this up just yet because we're not going to have iron being produced um, consistently just yet. It's not quite automated because there's no power coming down to it. But for right now, let's get this set up. Uh, you know what? Yeah, I'll do it anyway. I was tempted not to set it up just because I'm not going to have any... <clears throat> I'm not going to have any um, laser energy transmitters, but I can go ahead and make an extra one. We have a couple of skins we can take care of. Let's take care of those right now. So we got some bedrock, orange glow pod, and iron ore. All right, so now that's all set up, whatever ore we do get up is going to be able to smelt immediately. Uh, but in the meantime, let's go and pull some coal so I can make some more torches. Let's grab our 10 bars. That should be enough for one more energy transmitter. Crafting. Yes. And uh, we're going to actually need another one, so I will be right back. Hello and welcome back. So I've set up some, uh, collected some 10 ore, or rather 10 bars, not 10 ore. And what we're going to make with that is a couple of laser energy transmitters. Crafting. I'm going to put four in total. And uh, honestly, I'm not even sure if that will be enough, but let's go ahead and try... <clears throat> Um, just for good measure, let me go ahead and just set this up. I already know that I'm going to want it from, uh, right here. So let me drop that laser down. Uh, usually I wouldn't wait, wait around like I was doing off the video, um, because there's a lot of other stuff you can do. And here's a whole bunch of copper ore that I've actually collected, and tin. So I could just drop these right into the, the storage that's here. Um, so let me do that right now, actually. That'll help a lot. So there's 110 that I just dropped in there. Can't really do as much with copper because that's a mini storage, but that's fine. This isn't a big deal. So um, I'm going to press K, and again, that way I can see where my, um, my extractor is. And I have it set up. So I want to say it's right here. I want to say it's right here. Let me go ahead and dig down just for good measure, just to see. Keep that view open. Uh, you know what? I'm, I'm starting to think that I'm... <laughs> of course I can't dig it straight down. Um, yeah, this is where I, I hit the... Uh, hit that coal before. Oh, hey! There we go. Well, I got a, a hole straight down, but it's not where I want it to be. So there's a couple of things we can do. <clears throat> First... <laughs> let me look at that one more time. Um, so that would just go straight down from that hole, not the uh, where I'm standing now. <clears throat> So I have a couple of options. First, I can just go ahead and put the ore extractor there, which is, I think, what I'm just going to go ahead and do. That, that should be fine. And uh, so I'll put the ore extractor there. That way I can just get it straight onto it. It's not a big deal for moving around. <clears throat> and uh, we will set a block there. Put the hopper right next to that. And uh, put another block there. And... I can get some blocks going up to our setup that we have already in place. Um, even though that's not touching, oh boy, let me get back over here. Even though this isn't touching right here, it's still going to work. Um, let me give that some extra power. Oh, I'm out of power. Well, that's a problem. Um, so there's going to be power coming straight down to this block here. Let's go ahead and go back up. And let me just dig this straight up. Oop. Oh, I got launched way high. That's not good. <clears throat> you take a lot of damage doing that. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and send the power down this hole here. 
So I actually need to be on the other side of this. So I'm going to drop this laser down. And um, let me pull some power. I'm actually having an issue where I don't have any power on me. Uh, the fun part is I've already got energy coming from over there. But something else I can do, which might actually ben be beneficial for a couple of reasons, is I can put the laser here. Let me actually double check this lines up so that's where the smelter is. Uh, right next to where the smelter is is where I need it to go. <clears throat> so uh, one block over. So yeah, I'm going to need this to be over. <laughs> that's just not going to work the, what I had in mind. Um, so I have a couple of options. I'm thinking what I will do is I will put a battery here and then just set those there. Put an inner I missed my <laughs> I missed my mark twice. There we go. Uh, put the uh, laser transmitter there so that way it's getting power to the um, smelter again and then another one coming straight down here. And then we're going to dig this out until we get to the hole, which also don't fall into your hole. Um, there it is right there. And we want to use the further end, because remember whenever we first dug we had to dig two uh, blocks worth. Um, so it's actually going to be this further one here, and I did not want to go down, let's go back up. <clears throat> oh. There we go. And, uh, oh jeez, let me try this again, I need to be on the other side. Alright, I have such a hard time with this grapple, I'm just terrible at it, honestly. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and put a block right in front of there, actually I'll put another one there just for fun, and let's get a laser transmitter pointing downward. <clears throat> so that hits that, that gets power. It's going to go down 64 blocks, but it's not going to hit anything, because uh, as you can see, we're at a height of 2. And I wonder if we actually go down here. Our ore extractor is at 67. So what that means, um, the, the lasers only go 64 blocks, so we're going to have to put one down and have it come all the way down. And there you go. So that's why there, I did need an extra one. <coughs> so now that that's set up, um, that should start working. That's going to start getting ore in it. And then that's going to start going up. And as you can see, it's really, really slow. But that's fine for now. We don't have to worry about that too much just yet. We're going to have uh, a couple of upgrades we'll be taking care of to make the, the production a lot better. But for right now, let's go ahead and get back up to the surface. Actually, that second hole paid dividends. Um, so now our ore production, or iron production, is going to be great. That needs to be remove only. This is what I mean about <laughs> don't set it up like that. Don't forget to set it up. All right, so you have your iron. Let's go ahead and put that down. Let's go ahead and have that go down. And I'm going to, again, build about three out. And uh, we'll put an a iron gear creator there. <clears throat> All right, so we have our iron being automated. The smelter and the ore extractor are both fully powered. We have copper and tin being produced. We have copper wire and uh, tin plates being produced. Um, so at this point, we're getting in a pretty good position to start messing with lo our logistics, set it all up, and start producing products that we really need. So uh, whenever I get... <laughs> Let me go ahead and put this conveyor back down after grabbing all those bars. That should be more than enough bars. Um, might as well. Okay. All right. So uh, there's our setup. Copper, iron, and tin are all in automation. And uh, so we're, next video, we're going to set up our logistics, do a little bit more research, and uh, guide you into setting up your defenses. So I will see you in the next video. Make sure to like and subscribe, and thank you for watching.